Florida's Surgeon General is calling into question the safety of the mRNA COVID vaccine. Dr. Joseph Latipo is calling for a stop to the use of the vaccine, but federal officials disagree with him. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino has the story from Tampa. This is a copy of the letter that Dr. Joseph Latipo sent to the FDA saying he has concerns about the safety of the vaccine and he's now recommending against it. Now this goes against what the FDA and other local vaccine experts are saying. They say that advice could be dangerous. In an unprecedented move, Florida's Surgeon General calling to halt the use of the mRNA COVID vaccine going against the FDA. We continue to live in a world where the CDC and the FDA, uh, when it comes to COVID at least, are just beating their own path in a direction that is inexplicable in terms of thinking about data and thinking about common sense. Dr. Joseph Latipo spoke on the issue a few months ago and December 6th sent this letter to the FDA, citing safety concerns and a case study that claims mRNA could cause cancer if a sequence of events happen. Dr. Thomas Yunash with USF Center for Global Health Research says that's highly unlikely. One in several hundred billion that this would actually occur. The FDA sent this letter in response to Dr. Latipo, saying the FDA is confident in the quality, safety, and effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccines. Also responding to each of the Surgeon General's questions about the vaccine safety. Dr. Latipo also saying there hasn't been enough clinical trials. Worldwide, several billion people who have gotten mRNA vaccines. So to say that we don't have the data, in fact, we do have the data. Dr. Yunash worries Dr. Latipo's stance could be dangerous. Are there going to be more people who aren't going to get vaccinated? And as a result, uh, it's particularly among the, um, you know, the at-risk groups, there are going to be people who don't get vaccinated, and then there are people who are going to end up hospitalized and die from the infection. Latipo would need federal approval to stop distribution of the vaccine in Florida, something that for now is unlikely to happen. Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.